Hi, my name is Willy. You're watching Cars Chit Chat. On 10th of July, Subaru Malaysia has organized an event to showcase Subaru Eyesight, which is the active safety system of Subaru. So, without wasting time, let's move on to the first activity. Basically, this activity we will just what am I going to do is I will just accelerate on about 20 to 25 km per hour okay. approaching the uh, obstacles over there. Alright. So, this eyesight will basically detect the distance between the vehicle and the obstacles okay. and then and it will break uh, itself. Yes. It will break itself. If you are not aware of the obstacle is approaching, it will break itself. That's it. Alright. Alright, let's go. So, ready. Hold the car until you you saw the alert just now. And it will alert you, and you need to take over, and then you just press on the brake. Okay. And then the next one, the pre-collision throttle management. When there's a obstacles in front, okay. and then you try to throttle harder, you can feel there's no power on it. Yeah. And then you see. You see, I already put about half already. In what speed range does it work? Is it zero until about 70? Let's say if you continue pressing the throttle, will this still work? Yes, it, it will go. Or it will just go? It, it will, will just go. go. It will not cut in? Yes. Okay. So this one, we we'll want to take over and drive? Oh, sure, sure. Okay. Let me set, set back the car first. Sure. So this one, you would just need to throttle until about 20 to 25 kilometers per hour because this is too, sh too short distance and then it couldn't break in time if you go any faster okay <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah so 25 oh, about 20 to 25 huh? so i have to do this no rest ah wow first time first try will tend to like you want to break <laughs> feel scared yeah you you scared you scared you can't rely on the so, so now you can try. Uh, there's a pre-collision throttle management. So you try to press in a bit. Okay, okay. Is it is it brake first? Yeah, you need to brake first. Brake first, and then so that the warning goes off. Yes, goes off, and then you press a bit throttle. So I press a bit a throttle bit slowly. A bit more, 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 more. You feel like that car cannot go. Go, go, more, 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 more. Ah, okay. If you still press full throttle, then it will still go. It will just go. It will just go. Yeah. Answer. Right. right. The, the pre-collision braking. Okay. When there's an alert jumping out, say obstacle will change, and then if you swing or you just try to avoid the vehicle in front, uh, it will cancel the pre-collision braking. It's like I'm approaching the target, and then if I try to swing away the car. It will cancel the quick collision between. Ah, one more round. Okay, okay so I go. Do this one. Do this one. Do this one. And do this. Yes. Yep. Good, good. And press on the brake. Brake. Yeah, okay. This one, I set zero. Okay. Now, this one, whenever you have two times, two times, you trigger the pre-collision braking, it will cancel your eyesight so you need to fully take over the vehicle. Okay. Yeah. So in order to reset this you need to stop the engine and restart. So yeah, just, just, so turn, you off. just turn off and restart. Okay. Okay and then start again, press brake. Yeah. Okay, now you can try again. Uh, Okay, now we can proceed to the next. Sure. Yep. So this activity we will be trying out the Subaru as mode and also the symmetrical all-wheel drive. Okay, so this obstacle in front simulate the off-road 
that we have a lot of curbs and how this export reacts to the obstacles. Okay? So we are going to press? No, so not not yet. When we get stuck. When we get stuck. Yeah, I see. Okay, so let's go. Is in loose, not not two. It is not three. three wheels are in loose, so you only got one wheels to pull you up. That's why we implement the X mode. So okay, too much. It's no much, and so three wheels are not working, and that's one wheels to pull this car up to towards. So, what happened is, is it some kind of mechanical diff lock inside the diff? Yes. Or, or is it, it will is transfer it the power to the one wheel and okay. pull the car up? No, no, what I mean is, this is by electrical traction control system. Yes, traction control or system. Or is it a mechanical diff lock on the diff? No, it's a electrical traction control. I see. Yeah. Alright. So, this one will be the symmetrical or we can switch off the X mode. Same power to the four four wheels and then to push us to work. And now yeah, the other side. You can try to open the window to see that the wheels are in the air. The two wheels, which is on, stick to the ground, will spin and then push the car towards. So for this activity, we are not allowed like customer to drive. Oh, so okay. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> no worries. I got more footage already. All right. The uh, next one will be doing the uh, adaptive cruise control. Adaptive All right. Control. Basically, this function, okay, this activity we are trying out the adaptive cruise control yep. and lead vehicle start assist. When we activate the adaptive cruise control, it will detect the vehicle in front. This is the button to turn on the adaptive cruise control, and this is the button to adjust the distance between my vehicle and the vehicle in front. And then this joystick is actually to adjust the following speed, so now the vehicle is not detected yet so vehicle move and then yeah now see I can adjust the speed and then yeah. slow down yeah. this is already started and then the ready ready shows that the adaptive cruise control is ready and then what this hole indicates the vehicle will auto hold the brakes for us which i'm not touching my brakes yeah i'm not touching my brakes so when the vehicle in front moves move, uh -huh. and the lead vehicle assist uh, alert will jump out and then there you see 
then we can start to move it by pressing the throttle and then follow the vehicle in front go 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 full stop at the end and then I'm not doing anything just now the throttle is done by the car oh the, the okay thing is done by when lead vehicle assist uh, lead vehicle start alert okay. started and then it will pop out the alert right we need to throttle to make the car move okay okay, okay. so what if it's not standstill mm. it's just slow moving it will throttle by itself so in the next u-turn i will be trying to simulate the traffic jam scenario ah. so you can see it will stop and go stop and go stop and go itself so i'm not going to touch throttle or brake okay okay all right u-turn Traffic jam. Ah. Okay. Now I'm gonna activate the adaptive cruise control. Okay, it's ready. And then it's hold. Okay, let's see. You're, let's simulate the traffic jam. Okay, the car go. Stop. And I'm not doing anything. I'm just holding. Go. Go. And stop. And then go. And comes to a full stop. I'm not doing anything. I'm just holding the steering. And then it just follow the car in front by itself. Okay. It holds. Mm -hmm. It holds the automatic brake will okay. lock and then when the car in front move, okay now you can do a U-turn. There's a lead vehicle start ah. alert. Yeah. And then I need to put press my throttle. I okay. see. Yeah, okay. So so the thing is the brake will hold for just uh, ultimately? Yes. And then until you press the throttle. Uh, okay, let's do a driver change. So how about let's start from nothing first. From nothing, eh? Okay. Okay, now it's nothing. So now it's nothing, so nothing over here. So we are in a D. In a D. Alright. So I will just uh, press this button first, right? Yeah. Press. Press this and then you will be having this that. ready. Alright. So what I do next is Push the joystick. Push the joystick. And detect. Okay, 30 km per hour hold and then you detect the car. Yep. And also you can increase the speed, following speed. Ah, 65. Six yeah. So, okay. So, do I still have to press on the brake now? What is yeah. I let go my brake. It's okay. Hold. It is still, still hold now. Uh, because it detects there's a car in front. Alright, so when the car moves, I will step on throttle first, right? Yes, because the whole the whole home mm. signal is on okay. and then they will trigger lead vehicle start assist. Okay. So there's an alert will pop up, then you need to press throttle. I see. Okay. Uh car go. Okay, throttle. Throttle. Comes to full stop. Okay, so now I do nothing. It throttles and it breaks. Okay. Comes to a full stop. Comes to a full stop. Two seconds. Two seconds. You start to hold. Okay, so hold. Okay. And then break. Throttle. Yeah. You got the Oh, I just saw. Oops. Yeah. I should get in the video. We can do another round. Okay, so now hold, right? It's not hold. Hold. Alright. Okay, lead vehicle is not assisted to that. Okay, so I drop the little bit. Because when it detects no object in front, it will helps you to throttle to the limit that is the set. Okay. So which is a 65. Yes. So Oh, okay. Now you, you will simulate the traffic jam. Okay. Okay. So, so now 
you have not detect the swine swine yet. So I just need to do a bit. Press harder. You mean press break harder? Break harder. Uh, oh. Already came up. Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay. Then you set. Level. Okay. 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 Then the lead car goes. Lead car go. Then press. Press shorter. Solo. Stop first. Go. You don't do anything. You yep. don't have to. Break don't have to chop though. See how it follows the road first. Okay. Go. Full stop. Yeah, and for two seconds. One, two, three, four. Mm. Yeah. Four. Okay. okay. So, okay. That's how it's working. Uh, yeah. Okay. That's it for this video. I'll see you in the next video.